Hello everybody, Jason905 here and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. Now in the last episode we had gotten our last two giant souls, I think it was the last two, it might have just been, yeah I'm pretty sure, no. We got the last giant soul out of the three memories and had one shot at the ancient dragon which we screwed up pretty quickly. I got and got crushed under a lot of fire, which killed me in one hit, which is pretty balls. So, it's a very hard boss, and it's going to be really annoying to kill, to be honest. But, this won't be our second attempt at the dragon. Spoilers, I have already done this boss on another character. Now, I said before, I wouldn't be going through the game for on another character, but... I... The Ancient Dragon just seems like one of them bosses that is a gimmicky boss. And I was kind of right about it. He's quite the gimmicky boss. He's the equivalent to the Dragon God or Bed of Chaos out of Demon Souls and Dark Souls. And, you know, one hit kill attacks is a bit bullshit, to be honest. Especially when that one hit, hit kill attack has a super large area that all you can do is run away from. You have to know how to kill it. And by playing... A, by trying to defeat him with my other character, I've learned how to do so. So, with our knowledge in hand, we're going to be trying to kill this ancient dragon again. So, yeah. Let's see if we can level up first, to be honest. To be honest, what am I talking about? Uh, we don't have enough souls to level up. But 135 isn't too bad. Uh got the equipment we want on at the moment however when we get to the boss I have a plan now, this plan is the same plan I used for my other character so I mean you've seen me get to the boss a hundred times I'm gonna cut to when we actually get to the boss so see you at the boss drink up Melinda so, hello, welcome back everybody. This will be my second attempt, technically, on the Ancient Dragon boss. Melinda's just drinking up Estus. However, this won't matter because I'm sending her back. You can summon Melinda when you just go up to the top of the stairs, up at this big staircase. You turn to the right and go down, she'll have a summon sign there. She's very useful for getting you to the boss, however, I don't want to actually use her for the boss because... The thing about the Ancient Dragon is, he takes a long while to kill. And summoning NPC phantoms against the boss that usually one hits everything. Not the best of ideas. You can even summon Head of Engal here. Or summon this random guy. However, we're not going to be summoning any of these guys because this boss is actually much easier. You can just do it by yourself. Most people I end up summoning ended up running in when the dragon did his flame breath attack and died and provided no help whatsoever. They just died immediately at the start and were completely useless to me. Hmm. Uh, we're going to take off the Ring of Life protection for more killing potential. Wait, what killing potential ring do we want? Uh, that's an interesting... Oh, we, we want the Bracing Knuckle ring plus two. I know we want that. We want to remove our Lightning Dragon Chime. Or we could just put on our left hand. Remove our shield. Put the Lightning Dragon Chime in our left hand here. And remove all of our armor. Because we want to be light. What's the point of wearing armor when the boss is going to one hit you? I ask you. Well, you might not know the answer. But yes, being light is going to be our fail safe if we cock up this tactic. Which I will show you right now. And hopefully it will go well. And basically the same thing will happen as it happened on my other character. It might take a, take a couple of tries, but hopefully we'll get there. So let's sunlight blade up. Two hand and go in. So we go into the fog here. Ancient dragon's there. He's pissed at us. He's gonna roar. And he's gonna flame breath. This is where we run in between his toes here. And we stay in between his toes. We walk in between his toes here. We bait out his stomp attack like that. Then we proceed to attack his other foot. We wait. 
Wait for him to do his other stomp. Oh shit, he's breathing under him. He does this sometimes. You gotta be you gotta remember when that attack's being choreographed. But as soon as he's done that, you run back under his toes. So you go stomp. Good. You roll over here, you hog this toe, he pulls you over, you start attacking. This is my tactic. And if you do it right, you should be able to bait out these stomp attacks constantly. You can attack this toe straight away, however with the other toe you need it to pull you over when he moves his foot back. So with this toe, you stay here and wait for him to move his foot back. Because you might end up not getting pulled along with it, and that will bait out his flying attack. This is basically it. Very boring. As I said, it's not a very fun boss fight to be honest, it's kind of just hoping on the RNG. Which, yeah, it's boring, but, you know. Well, I'm going to Sunlight Blade up on his upper toe here. Hopefully that didn't fuck up. Yep, he's just stomping again. And we're going to see to proceed to kill him again. Oh, crap. Oh, he did try to stomp. That's good. Let's get back in between the toes here. Don't bait out that flying attack. We almost cocked up there. That would have been very bad. If you flew up in the air and fire breath, we would have been dead. You have to start running as soon as you see that fire breath starting to come up. I mean, yeah. Well, as soon as he starts to flap his wings and go into the air, you have to be out of there to escape that fire. He actually did it for me once. I managed to escape. Which, in which case, you have to bait out his fire breath attack forward, which he did at the start. And then run under him and get to his toe before he's finished his fire breath attack. So... His AI just like, oh, I'm going to stomp on you now. We're doing pretty well here. He's low on health. However, I did get him down to like a slimmer of health and he decided to do the flying attack. It was kind of a bitch and I hated it. But it happens. We might have to finish him off without a lightning weapon here because I can imagine it's going to run out soon. See, that's what happens if you don't follow his toe. And then you run the risk of him doing his... Um, his two strong attacks work better than this swings. It's hard to say because I do have buffs backing me up on the normal swings. And he's almost dead, which is sweet. We could have gone for one more hit there, but luckily he did a foot stomp. If he flew up in the air there, I would have hit myself. And he is down. Down for the count. Ancient dragon dead. We did it. In our rags. Man, I'm sexy. And we got our last soul of a giant, which will weaken Vendrick to his weakest state. And some petrified dragon bones if, well, we want to upgrade a boss weapon. But we don't even have any boss weapons yet. It might be a good boss weapon for this character. I'm not sure yet. Let's pop our gear back on and head on back. Because now, it's time for Vendrick. First try. It's pretty nice. <sighs> Happy we did it first try. I just don't like the fact that this boss fight is kind of relying on you, you know. It's relying on you kind of cheesing him in a way, but it's not really cheesing him because, oh, there's something we should have done there. We should have put on our extra soul gain ring before we killed him. You can actually get more souls and bosses if you kill him with the soul gain ring on. And we would have got an extra, I don't know, like 20%, 15% souls. And that's quite a lot when you get 150,000. So, yeah, we lost out on like 20k souls. But no no big deal. We killed the boss. That's what we wanted to do. Let's talk to the Emerald Herald here. I bet that's why so many people want to help co-op that boss. Because you get a percentage of the souls. And, yeah, you get quite a lot of souls if you're getting a percentage of the ancient dragon souls. Alright, uh, it's popped two points in Vigor, I say. One point in Vitality. Oh, we can get a lot of levels, I forget. I mean, we just did get a bunch of souls, didn't we? Uh, let's grab some more points in Vitality. That's an extra 100 health. Pretty cool. Look at that health bar. Let's get a massive. Doesn't really help against the Ancient Dragon, apparently, though. Alright, let's get our equipment back on and go straight for Ventric, I think. I didn't take very long to do, so let's move on to Vendrick. And 
see what the lady has to say to us after that. Also, I have killed Vendrick on my other character. But it's Vendrick. We already attempted him. He's the same boss. He has the same moves. It's just he's quicker to kill. Hmm. That'll be fat roll. Okay. Uh, did we not have Havel's gauntlets on or Havel's leggings? What could we put on instead? Something lighter. Something nice and light. Hmm. I forgot what equipment we had on now. Let me just refer back to the recording. Uh, leather boots, they'll do. They look pretty crappy along with this robe. Let's not wear the leather boots. Knight's leggings, you'll do. Uh, let's actually just bring the weight down a little bit. Havel's gone, no, it's no thanks. Uh, let's just wear some really nice light trousers. Hmm. I want to be at 60%. It seems like an okay weight to be at. Samphros waist cloth. Smell of demon leggings. Hmm. Damn it. Don't know what to be in. That, that'll do. Just put Wanderers on and stop complaining about our fashion souls for now. That fashion souls. And whilst we're at the undead crypt, before we go kill Vendrick, there's something I want to do. Oh, something I want to do. There's something you missed out on. And I actually spotted it on my other character. Big whoop. Let's summon a shade, why not? There shouldn't be any mages around here, just the zombies. Come back over here. And I noticed it when I was all the way over there and I opened the shortcut. You can see an item down there. How did we get that item? Well, we kill these guys first. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, let's just kill you before the other guy wakes up and decides to kill us. There we go. And I don't know if there's a quicker way to go down here. I'm just going to drop down. I mean, that's what I did before. There's two zombies. Thankfully, they're not kamikaze ones. That'd be evil. But I wouldn't put it above from stuff to do that. Soul of a Spice and Soul of a Great Hero. So that's 20k souls there right off the bat. But that's not the reason to come here. There's an item. And I believe I know where it is based off what Tyler said. My friend Tyler. It's not a mimic, I know that. It's Crushed Eye Orb and a Fire Seed. Crushed Eye Orb. Hmm. A crushed eye orb with unfocused gaze. A crushed eye with is unsteadily. Rives unsteadily in search of dishonorable miscreants. Where the f where are the fiends? Where are the fiends? Where are they? And I believe this is the item we use to fight. What Tyler says is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game, but it's not really a boss. It's a faith user. We'll fight him in a bit. We'll fight him after Vendrick. Oh crap. Let's um, kill this undead before he rings the bell. We don't want him ringing that bell. Monster, don't you dare. <laughs> it's like he's actually talking to the monster. Jog required ahead. Indeed it is. Um... I didn't bother dealing with these guys in my character. You can actually just get rid of the aggro range. It's too much effort just to fight Vendrick every time. Not that it took too many attempts. I think it took two until... Ah, now we took damage. You buttheads. Beavis and butthead. Hmm. So we're at Vendrick now. Let's put on another chime so we can get a lightning weapon. Actually, let's just put the. Let's not bother trying to throw lightning spears at Vendrick. Let's just melee him to death. It worked on our other character. Oh, he did have more agility. 
This character only has 90 agility, so we're going to have to do some decent rolls. Because we can't block for shit, he just broke our guard last time. We'll give it a go, though. Probably should have put on some buffs for this. Seeing as we're just going pure melee. And get rid of the lightning spears, but oh well. Let's get rid of the shield, too. I mean, you know, don't... don't. We need different rings. Uh, let's just go for it, why not? We should have put on different rings, but whatever. And you'll see how much quicker he is to kill. Wait, have we got two hands? Right. Look at this damage. We need to have some energy left there to dodge these sword swings. He still damages us just as much. As you see. Oh god. No. We're fine. We can take one hit, which is nice. We should still be able to take one hit unless it's like a crushing hit. Oh crap, he's running back. Is he going to try and crush us again? Nope. Attack. And yeah, we're doing pretty good damage to him. I'm not sure if we just got unlucky the first time we fought him by dying in like one combo instantly. But he's very slow and predictable. It seems like running to the right of him is the way to go based on how he swings. And he's almost dead. Oh crap. Oh shit, we're gonna have to do a dodge, aren't we? Drink! Haha, <laughs> we pulled off. Oh, that probably would have killed us. I can imagine that's probably a quick kill. Let's just kill him with melee now, it's not worth wasting the time to buff. We do do a lot more damage when we buff though, but that's because we have a lightning weapon. Like we have a lightning weapon and infusing of lightning also gives you bonus percentage damage, so very worthwhile. And he is dead. We have killed Vendrick. GG. Get wrecked, Vendrick. Who is the man? I'm the man. We should put on that ring again, but you know, I keep forgetting. We didn't even need the bracing knuckle ring plus two. We could have just, you know, used the soul ring, but I keep forgetting. I'm not a smart man, trust me. Uh, we can go inside Vendrick's memory now. Going back there doesn't do anything. You can just talk to Vendrick and hear some dialogue. Seeker of fire. Coveter of the throne. I am Vendrick. Cool. Ruler of Drang Lake. As flame rises, so does it fade. Such is the way of things. Do you intend to link the fire? Then you must first take the throne. Vendrick doesn't look like such a bad guy. Okay. And your wishes. Well, that's all you have to say, okay. Let's leave. I think the thing fades away if you run outside, yeah. You can't go back through the whole game inside the memory. Sadly. So, good thing we have the aged Trevor, because we run past all the enemies. Let's go back to the bonfire. And... I guess talk to the... Ooh... Let's talk to the Queen Lady first. Level up. Talk to the Queen, who was just before the Door Dragon Riders. I went back to her before because I missed her out. I just ran straight past her with my fan. And I went back to her. She said to kill Ventric. We've done that now, so let's see what she has to say about it. And then after that, we need to open that final King's Ring door and see what's behind there. Three points in vigor. Never hurts to have HP, does it? And we're getting pretty decent HP per level, so no diminishing returns yet. Let's get our equipment again back on. Should we just keep our chime in our left hand? I mean, whilst we're casting miracles, we're vulnerable anyway. And then we can cast Sunlight Blade too. It's just getting used to casting spells with the left trigger instead of right. I've been used to killing with right trigger. And... Or right bumper. And defending with left bumper, but... We could try it this way round. Uh, right. 
We we'll take off the Havel's Gauntlets and go a bit lighter even. I'd like to be around 50%. Fram Gauntlets, there we are. Look at that roll distance now. Less defense, but more roll distance, which I like. And let's head off and see Queen Lady. So that's the King's Gate. That's the last door we can open with the King's Ring. But we want to go to Central Castle Drangliac or under the Castle Drangliac, either fine. And go see the Queen Lady. See what she has to say about us murdering her husband. Even though she asked us to, she might give us a reward, which would be pretty sweet. Hey lady, where's my reward? Where did you go? Damn it, where's our reward? Try ranged bow, woman, dark. Oh, she ditched me. What a bitch. It's a dick move. I really don't appreciate that. Okay, then we're going to... Hmm. Let's just go for that last fog door. The crushed eye orb can wait. Uh... Actually, let's do the crushed eye orb first. And see how hard this battle is. I saw Tyler trying to kill her, and he had a hard time. We were probably going to have a hard time too, but let's get out some lightning spears and wreck some face. And actually, let's put on a great magic barrier instead of extra lightning spears. Because she's going to hurt. Now we need the protection. Of course, I'm talking about Lindia of Lysit, or whatever her name is. Lydia of the Sea. We can also cast miracles whilst we have an enchanted sword, which is pretty nice. Like, we can enchant a sword with our chime and throw lightning spears and shit with an enchanted sword. And it's kind of wasting the time with the enchanted sword. As you can see, the crushed eye stirs. Hello. So let's make sure we have everything we want off her. Ring of Faith increases faith. I kind of really don't care for it. Have we got all the miracles we want off her? To be honest, I don't want any other miracles off her. I mean, she's got all this stuff here. We've got at least one casting of it all, and then multiple castings of Lightning Spear. We've got four castings of Lightning Spear. We shouldn't need any more than that. Homeward, you know, for me, what's the point of having more than one casting of Homeward? Pretty sure you get your castings back anyway. Cressing prayer. All this stuff I'm probably going to be able to only use one of. Like, I'm only probably going to ever have in one slot. Besides the offensive lightning spears, which you can get infinite of. Why wouldn't you have infinite lightning spears? Let's buy one more to top off the lightning spears, I guess. And is there any... let's just spend some souls on what we might want, I guess. Great Hill Excerpt. I've heard it's a more practical heal. It's a very fast use heal, so if you want to use a heal in a rush, this is what you use. You can also use it as a phantom quickly during invasions or as an invader. So it's very useful to have. Besides that, I think we've got everything we want off her. You're useless to us. So we're going to kill you. If we can get our casting stuff quick enough. Oh, before we do this, let's actually put on some rings. Not be an idiot. Clear blue stone ring plus one. Clamp freeze and ice. Ring of blades. Uh, we're doing mostly lightning damage. So instead let's use. Thunder quartz ring plus one. Because that will protect us from her miracles. Along with great magic barrier. And let's use the crushed red eye orb. And see how hard she is to kill. She has a lot of health, I know that, and she has a heal, very fast heal. So you have to keep the pressure on her. But she doesn't make it easy for you, trust me. Well, you've got a great magic barrier, sweet. Oh, 
Right, a lightning spear there. Ow, that hurts. Stamina of lightning spears. Okay, let's heal up. She didn't seem that bad. She has Wrath of the Gods, so it hurts. What the? F she flipped out there, didn't she? Kill. Oh, crap. Oh, she healed. Balls. Just go two handed on her and finish her off. Ow, Wrath of the Gods is painful. Ah, oh, she healed up. I'm going to heal up too. Wrath of the Gods. Oh, God damn it. How long does that last? It's a spam of lightning spears. She's going to keep healing up like a bitch she is. Oh, come on. How long does that last? Die of lightning spears, you bitch. Get spammed. Stop it. Keep spamming lightning spears. I mean, I'm spamming them too, so I'm just as bad. I'm out of lightning spears. Balls. We've got a melee here. Oh, come on. She's such a spammer. Stop spamming, you nub. Ow. I think we've just got to Leroy her face. Because she's going to keep healing up. Oh, we've got a light... Oh, yeah, we need to lightning weapon up. That's what we've got to do. Alright, lightning weapon up, sunlight blade. This should finish her off. Right, take this. Yeah, look at that extra damage. There's only one faith user here, girl. God damn it, why did you heal? I thought you were going to wrap of the gods. They look exactly the same. Okay, heal up. Heal up. She's going to do it too, you bitch. No! Don't you wrap of the gods. Don't you wrap of the gods. Ah, damn it, she wrapped of the gods me. Don't you heal. Don't you heal. No! And she's dead. Rotunda Lockstone, Soothing Sunlight, Idol's Chime, Saint's Hood, Saint's Dress, Saint's Long Grief, Saint's Trousers. Returning to your world. <laughs> Praise the sun. So we killed her. She was very resilient and she kept spamming heals. It's so annoying. You have to burst it down, but with that wrath of the gods, it's very painful. It really hurts. She's a big meanie. We have killed her. She's dead. All is well. Is Estus up to that? That Thunder Quartz ring probably helped out quite a lot. But let's get a proper ring back on. Hmm. Ring and Blaze doesn't seem that useful, to be honest. Royal Soldier's Ring might be. Actually, no, we want the Clamphy. It's blue clear stone. Clear blue stone. And the Ring of Life Protection. We're being very risky not using our Ring of Life Protection, but... I guess it's kind of a payoff in that you're sacrificing Ring Slot. For the safety of knowing if you fucked up. You're not losing anything, apart from 3k souls. But then you're losing the extra survivability slash damage dealing potential of an extra ring slot. It's a strange payoff. Depends if you just want to hold on to humanities. And we've only got 8 left so we want to hold on to those. So yeah, we're done with that now. It's time to go through that door and see what lurks behind. I was told this is the last one I should open up. And we're about to see why. But we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. It helps me out a lot. 
and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. See you next time.